All right, Saxon, shall we start? Okay. It is Wednesday, the 17th of July, 2019, and we are doing the second round of Dungeons and Dragons, the cast of Strahd for this year. We yeah. said recorded what we were just saying. Yes. That's all right, I can edit that out since we're no longer live streaming. So. Oh, don't edit it out. Yeah, it's yeah, so it's opening. Yes. Oh, it's sure. Make the perfect. Whole it's perfect. And that way we lose all the weirdos. If we can't get past that, they'll never get past anything. The weirdos won't get past that. Do you uh, the exact opposite of Hello, if you're a weirdo and you're still hanging on to it. Only the weirdos. Hello. Can I just say, are you excluding yourself from the category of weirdo? Are we norms or unnorms? Why are you asking this question? Is that answer enough? <laughs> now, did you, did you get yourself a cup of tea, Dave? I did. I'm, oh, good. I'm good. Because we, I, I used up the last of the pot. Right. And I was a little concerned for your welfare. Yeah, but we're not you used to the pot. What about the tea? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I checked out the tea. You, uh, you don't, you don't <laughs> think the tea? <laughs> Sorry? Did you date it? What? What the? What? <laughs> <laughs> How did that sound like louder? Oh. Mm. Made me feel better. Oh, fair enough. He is accusing you of archaeological investigations to find out the news by dating the team. Dating the pot? Anyway. What? What is... What? what? I'm glad you think it's funny. <laughs> Everyone is utterly bewildered. Perhaps a quick summary of what we thought last <laughs> session, which was four Sorry. weeks ago. <coughs> it was a while ago. <coughs> All right, so... What I began with is um, a visit to St. Adriel's Church. Okay. Irina Colliana wanted to go and uh, <coughs> pray at the church, as the, the uh, characters that went to the church, which was the majority of the party, actually, with the exception of Urban, I think. I think everybody went, except Urban, who was still in the Bergamast Mansion. Yeah. They all went to the church. Uh, they met uh, Father Lucian Petrovich. Petrovich. And he told them the story of how St. Adriel's Church has been protected by the bones of St. Adriel. Oh, yes, for, the bones. For the entire time that the church had... Actually, it hadn't started off as a church. It started off as the house of Adriel. And Adriel is, in fact... Um, was uh, a man who basically stood up to Strahd and, and then welcomed in people that didn't um, the fact that follow the vampire's ways and the fact that he was so convicted in his, his faith of you know, good over evil. Convicted, do you mean? Convicted? I like no, convicted, he's convicted, convicted, oh, he's convicted of convicted. his faith. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, that, that makes more sense, actually. Is the fact that we're looking at his bones um, significant for us? Well, the fact is you're not looking at his bones. His bones are missing. And so, uh, Lucien Petrovich knows that the church is, in fact, protected from evil. Um, by said bones. Yeah, by the bones. And, and he went and... To bones! He, um, he mentioned them to a young boy who's his ward called Yeska. He mentioned to Yeska about about the bones and how the bones keep the church safe. And um, were we meant to hear that? Or he keeps the goblins yeah, in the necromancy. He told them. And then Yeska ended up confessing to Dave's character that he told um, Milov, another boy who works sometimes at the church, sometimes at the orphanage. Um, about the bones, that was the only other person told. So, so we um, think Milov took the the, the oh, party that was in the baby. We are unsure whether he took them or he hid them in one of the graves because he is a grave. Right. Oh my God! Thank God you're bam, here, Saxon. You're taking me hours to come on that. Milov is uh, helps out. I'm not even joking. He's also church. missing. Uh, no, he's not missing. Oh, he's not missing. No, Milov hasn't been... Well, he hasn't been seen in the church for a couple of days, but... He hasn't been seen. He Therefore, been, he's dead! He's been ill. <laughs> or even worse, a doll. Um, and he no, lives at the... Into a pie. He lives at the orphanage the where he helps out. Right, okay. Okay, so... Um, Petrovich uh, suggested that you go and visit the orphanage and see if he's dead. 
Then we had um, Obi's character, and he met Victor. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so I'm just waiting for people to stop talking so we can continue on. Um, so then we followed Irvin's character and met Victor upstairs in the attic, which he was trying to make a teleportation circuit. Yeah, I used a fag to kidnap a young child and take him back to my hotel room. It's not your what hotel the room. fuck? A oh. fag? Yeah, remember he the... All the fags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, he helped. He helped Victor escape because Victor wants to actually leave. I'm just trying to uh, summarize. Can I just ask? Am I allowed to continue with this, or will it violate the terms of my working with children? Shit. That's what I'm just wondering. Which sorts of sort of good? These are imaginary children. Okay. Okay. <laughs> zombie. Oh yes, he just mentioned the zombie kids. As long as you don't make drawings of them and keep them on your computer or in the police. They weren't real kids. <laughs> they weren't real. I thought they were zombie kids. No, you they, made that up. You might be more trouble. So what were they? <laughs> Well, well, we should edit that out. But anyway, <coughs> to them, but they oh, is this being recorded? Then I nearly let a panther or a lion loose, <coughs> and now I'm in stocks. We thought it was a dragon. She's only you guys for one week, and what happens? Nothing really. Yeah. <laughs> you left out the best bit. You got a donkey thing on your head. And now I've got a donkey mask on, so, and I'm in stocks. <laughs> is so it then, time for a padding? Ready for a paddle? Exactly. I wanted to go with that one. A paddle. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, okay, can right. some, okay, Are you guys, can, can I get a sane explanation of what the hell that's about? <laughs> We're now babysitting Victor, who we don't know and don't care about. And who's a very unattractive man. But I think, boy, <laughs> psycho. Did we get enough? Yeah, boy, did you help. get enough information about what had happened to Urban's character? Perhaps not. No. <laughs> so. Urban ended up waking up, being up in the attic of right. the Burgermaster Mansion, with Victor trying to work out why his teleportation circle. Well, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. He's unsure. He's he put two servants um, into the sun. He put two yeah. servants through, but they haven't returned to say where they went. So he's reluctant to go through himself. He sent um, very small animals through as well, but he can't find them. Um, Sounds like a lovely guy. <clears throat> Right? Urban's character. I don't think he tried it on the servants first, then the small animals. No, I think he might have tried the small animals first. Yeah. Does it doesn't matter what order you do it in when you reach that point. <laughs> so, um, Urban, uh, short story Urban helped him escape because he wants to leave the lucky. That's why he was building or trying to create the television. He had animated cat skeletons. We climbed down and rose out of a window. If there's, an air, if there's a French enclave, um, like at, at a lower level than the city of Balaki, would that place be known as Suvalaki? Uh, no, 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 some Balaki. Are you going to put a bookmark on that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you should. <laughs> yeah. I remember Ray doing a similar joke as in if he hurt himself in the city, could he sue the <laughs> <laughs> So, um, when my mocking laugh. Um, Urban's character and Victor got back. They yeah. hid him in, in the rooms upstairs. <laughs> yep. Whereupon no, Shan said um, she wanted to go and, and investigate Rictavio's um, caravan. Oh, yep, caravan. Um, Peter's character offered to go, but she said, no, you simply stuff it up. I'm I want to go with... I'm um, so glad you said that. <laughs> so she took my character to go Um snuck around very carefully investigated said caravan. I it think turned out to be a raging I think it be invisible. It turned out to be a raging saber toothed tiger in the caravan. An armoured saber tooth tiger. Yes. We saw the um, dragons so obviously they're having trouble getting it out of the caravan. Retavo made this we comment about mind. going to feed his dragon. <laughs> so when we first encountered this we thought it might have been a baby. I thought he just carry. maybe wanted to go well, take a piss. Initially, that's what I thought too. Although well, no, that's traditionally referred to as bleeding the lizard. But, anyway. but when when <laughs> Urban encountered the thing in the carriage, we made a lovely leap of your logic. I'm just feeling for you right now. <laughs> I'm fine. Finally, oh, I... after having investigated the caravan, mm -hmm. our characters are on the way back. Carelessly, I did not specify to put keep on the invisibility. We got caught by the city watch. Um, charged go. with being um, out after curfew, Nicholas. taken to the stocks, had donkey masks put on our heads, and stuck in the stocks. Hence, okay, right. They're going to set you on fire during the fire in the donkey festival. 
And Which that's is just where... after the beheading of all fifth. <coughs> and that's where we finished. The end. <laughs> I heard an interesting term today: chocolate teapot. You ever heard chocolate? Yeah, about teapot? as much use for yeah, as as much use as a chocolate teapot. You it's a British one. It's great. It's great. It's wonderful. Never heard of it. Anyway, mm. that's completely apropos of nothing. Obviously. Mm. Obviously good only for iced tea. <coughs> All right, let's continue on then. Um, Saxon, it is the next day. You and... Um, uh, the other one. Urban are the still... Other. Are, still in your, one. are still in your stocks. You still have donkey heads <laughs> on your head. Um, you I'm humming making, this broken. Should we be making lockpicking rolls? In rocks? a moment. In a moment, I'll let you. Okay. Um, him. Just you feel something small smack into your donkey head. And as you try and look, the the eye sockets for the donkey head are not quite sort of level uh-huh. and you can barely make out, but you know that it's light enough. I so hope and then you something else hits your uh, donkey head as well. Mm-hmm. As you continue to move your head around and see, you can see that about maybe ten feet away is a small boy, he's probably about six or seven, and he's throwing small stones. Oh, okay. What? No rotten tomatoes? Oh, I feel unwanted. Don't worry, they come softer than stones. (laughs) Can you give him a brain aneurysm? I don't think so. It's murders of small children in the public square. By magic, not like go over and like... Can can we have a musical version of that? No one will (laughs) realise. It's a magic of brain aneurysm. You can never know. So what you're basically saying is you're going to murder a small child. He started it. Going to somebody's he started it. Remember, started. they're lawful good ones. I'm not. See, he, see uh, he picks up the slightly larger stone. Stones at you and see how long you last. I'm going to see how he goes. Mm-hmm. I can just run into the square and do just that. You're just being an asshole now, aren't The arms of what you are. What's your armor class? Um, my armor Minus class your dexterity. Dark energy erupt from you and back. Well, actually, hold on. Ten feet. Considering how long it's been, my no, armor has probably run out. Mm-hmm. So, um, so um, it yeah. would be on a failed save. Base on six necrotic damage. Eleven. This larger stone uh, hits you. Maybe You're going to take one d four damage. Ew. So roll for that. That's oh, creepy. Yeah, come on. Yeah, it's also indiscreet Enjoy. as well. Three. <coughs> yep, three points of damage. Ah, ow. Uh, he laughs hysterically, realising that you are hurt. And he screams, bad people, bad people. What you gonna do? What you gonna do <laughs> when they come for you? Loses something in the scansion. Yeah. He comes a little bit closer and, and just starts further sauntering you. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> Uh, who's going to kill me? You? So we're going to die of that. Each time. You probably could if you throw enough stones at you. <coughs> yes, I'm trying to point him into telling you what precisely is likely to happen later on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You, um, at this point, you hear some people coming mm-hmm. um, from, uh, from the right. Um, I think you, I'm still asleep. Oh, no, you're... Um, How could you be you're asleep? You're not right? stones you're thrown asleep. at you. Uh, oh, who's that deep deep sleeper. Deep sleeper. <laughs> <coughs> Not Here's some people coming from the right. <coughs> the boy um, notices these people coming and um, mm-hmm. uh, scurry off. You know, he scurries off. Oh, he saved by and he's possibly a part of the nation. Mm. Okay. So, um, you see, um, oh, through your limited view, Urban. Uh, because you're donkey head. You're no, limited earth, pro- you. Don't provide much. You um, are limited. Oh. Uh, you know there are at least two people, but you know you've heard more. And they start uh, talking to each other, sort of in fairly low voices, but you can't quite make out what they're saying. But if you want to roll to see if you can hear them, because you're a thief, but you'll have to roll at disadvantage because your donkey head is covering your ears. <laughs> so 2D, 20s take a lower result. Against, 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 against,
Cool. Do we should do anything yeah. before they act? They're different. Is what I'm asking. That different. I'm thinking of trying to get the hell out Probably of here as soon as possible. <laughs> um, way, way, way too many. Why? Why? Well, no, no, so the ones you want for your particular I am not convinced that they're actually going to let us to tell them off. I don't think they killed you for staying out after two. I have the idea of doing everything. Thank you, Tim. What, do you think they're going to kill us while we're in stock? Possibly. Hopefully the first thing is like... You would. That's true. What's the first thing in this? Oh, if only I had taken the mage hand so that I could actually um, use a cantrip to actually free myself. Well, yeah. I have not, so I, uh, I, I'm helpless. If you were your hands are in A to Z. In stocks as well as your hands. So uh, if you had to use a verbal... I don't know whether the mage hand is a verbal or material or something. I can check that, but it's a move point. Next one's pretty bad. 135 hit points. Yeah. David, you want some more? Okay. So, uh, yeah, why not? If then you want to know what else, then Joel will try July, I'll have to. No. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm so dry sorry. July at the moment. So, yeah, dry July, you know, so. Okay. You're doing, yeah. you're doing dry ever. <laughs> well, that's the point, see, if it's dry July, obviously I'm supposed to spend the entire month completely pickled. Um, Did you want to? True, there was the end. Yeah. Mage on, hand what, is VS, no M. So if I have it, like I don't, no, I wouldn't take the other get out and just put my foot in the box. Oh well, but Sorry, thank you for offering. In short, the one person who's got the lock picking skills is totally saying we're the same here all back. How would you give you a lock pick a out of stock? Yeah, your hands are there yeah. and you can't do anything. You good. just dislocate both your shoulders and then scream for the next two hours. Then extend your toes. I could do. To an unnatural extent. <laughs> Alright, so failing doing anything. The next thing. pity on you and let you go. Your right. donkey head mask come off. <laughs> Initially, the light is so bright that you have a problem focus. But before you focus, you see that there are, in fact, four people standing <laughs> just in front of you. What if, sort of looking up, what you notice is there are three guards, but in front of them is a really tall individual. He's bald, he is carrying um, uh, quite a large axe that you'd imagine you'd have to swing with two hands. The only other thing that you, he's, oh, he's got a, a beautiful fur, white fur, you probably could imagine, I suppose closer to it is probably not, but the closest thing you could imagine to it would be like polar bear fur, that would be what it's it is like. Oh, good, I'm sorry, it's coming out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. High collar. <laughs> got a candelabra? No. High collar. Excuse but me. He has um, <coughs> two. Such a mental image. He has two <laughs> arms, but one arm is actually quite deformed, uh, almost to the point of that the nails at the end are pretty much like talons rather than than fingernails. They're incredibly, incredibly long. His other, his other um, arm, though you can't really see. Is in fact normal, but this one is is deformed, oh. like like he's been almost genetically altered mm. in a way. Okay, he should have been more somatically. Altered. He should have been exiled to the waste with the other mutos. Okay, somatically altered. Uh, at this point, as he looks at um, at both of you, he looks back towards the guards, and he says, "What are these two people doing in here?" <laughs> <laughs> And it's, he's specifically talking to the guards? Yeah. Is he patting the cat as he does? No. And the guards are, um, um, uh, oh, like, uh, so, yeah. talking and, and everything. Could make you an offer that you can't refuse. He, um, he, he then, um, then kneels down so he's level with both of you. Oh, Jesus, and, one of those. And he says, you will need to accept my apologies. My guards are sometimes over heavy handed. Um, we will get you out of there. Do you, do you, have no, we, have they you. met this guy? No. I've never seen this guy before. Now, aren't you glad you didn't mentally kill the child? But it's so wonderful that he knows who you are. Maybe he's mistaking you for his friends, the donkey men. <laughs> I imagine the donkey men have real donkey heads rather than donkey masks. Maybe he's short, so um, 
he orders the, the guards to release you out of the stocks. You can now stand up. Mm -hmm. As you stand up, he, um, he turns back to the guards and he says, this is not how we treat visitors to our town. This is from the doll guy. I believe that you, my, okay. my guards have told me you were imprisoned for breaking curfew. That is correct, sir. Who else could it be? Um, he then looks at both of you and says, this is not the punishment for such an offence. Oh, Jesus. Oh, crap. <laughs> if you tell me who these guards were, I will make sure that they are dealt with quite severely. Now, the other thing that you, in fact, notice is one out of the two other guards that uh, is with you there now is, in fact, one of them that arrested you. He, even though he's looking towards you, and this guy is, is looking toward it, his eyes go wide as you look at him, and he sort of turns away. Will Urban do good or evil? Evil. Oh. He, he then turns back to the guards and he says, It is but two days before the festival. How does this improve the mood of the town if we take visitors who are, we are welcoming to our town? And put I'm, just, I'm just feeling the love from him right now. Pardon my ignorance, but we have been introduced. I'm sorry. My name is Isaac Strasny. Oh, frick, the soul man. I am in charge of security around He's here. Back. Are you and he's the region, Mr. Strasny. Responsible for the well being of the festival and making sure that the festival goes without a problem. He's not funny, he's not Strasny. Guys, if we imprison every single visitor for breaking out of a small law, how do we have a happy time with the festival? When the burger master hears about this, he will be furious, and you will wish that I would deal with you instead. Please, if you can give me any insight into what happened last night, I would be appreciative. Mm -hmm. You were both drunk, we were and you don't remember anything. We were simply out on a stroll, enjoying the night air. Nice As you said, we were here. out. After curfew, we have not realised there was a curfew. This is our mistake, and we apologise for it. The guards do no, us. The error is with my guards. Do you recall any of the I do. I, I could not say which guards. It was nighttime. He can't long say all the same to me. <laughs> they seem very generic. <laughs> Fair enough. It was a fairly dark night. It was probably hard to make out. But if anything does come to mind, I would appreciate you letting me know. You've got a new friend. Maybe you should you wish him to Victor. Anyway, thank you for your consideration, sir. If there's nothing else, we'll be about our business. Do not wish to delay you anymore. These guards will escort you where you need to go without incident. Thank you. He heads off in the direction towards the mansion, actually, the, what you, in mm -hmm. the direction of the Burgomaster Mansion. The um, other three guards send a motion you to move forward and they will follow. Mm -hmm. The inn we are staying at is this way. They probably know that already. Yes. <laughs> I'm simply being polite and making a conversation. I always make conversation with my escorts. <laughs> they walk with you. The one that you've recognised walks a little bit further back than the other two. Okay. Um, now, how much of that was a polite thing the he three. realizes? Does he know that half orcs and uh, half elves have quite good uh, dark vision? Yeah. Are you half orc? Okay. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Both of us, if he'd known that, he could figure out that we knew he, uh, perfectly well that we could recognize the guards. Because <laughs> you're a couple. He notices you again, then he, he sort of turns, looks away. Actually... But he definitely saw it. You're probably very noticeable being an elf. Although he's probably even more noticeable. Alright, they escort you back to the end, but they don't go inside. Mm -hmm. Good night, good morning. Good morning. It's, good morning. You stay in there good for morning. the rest of the night. Yes. 
It's a lovely day. All right. Uh, rest of the party, you had an uneventful night. You slept in your quarters. Do we wake you, up and find Victor? Um, you guys have, if you've lost any hit points, I don't think you have, apart from the rock for mm-hmm. you. I don't, but okay, but you haven't regained any. It wasn't anything by a, a restful time, no. so you haven't recovered any spells. You haven't recovered any hit points. You were completely unrested. Uh, the rest of the party, you've had a long rest, you so you can, you can um, regain any spells that you have used or... If I have, I've already forgotten. Whatever your full rest does for you. Rest. Yeah, we go. <laughs> I think I'm already yeah. fine. <laughs> I don't think I've marked anything off. No, I look like I'm already good. I love this. I love this job. It's Time for this a Fiendish Vigor, vigor roll. roll. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, who is... Who, can is I just say, who is responsible for aging us on the... Um, the hard power. Uh, the funny. The What do you mean? What do you I mean? Ah. <coughs> I will show you what I mean. That's free. Here we go. 30 years later, and we're still in Ravencroft. Oh, okay. Um, seven. I'm guessing seven point like seven. Earth points. Mm. Well, <laughs> all I can say is that makes me look awfully like my dad, which is a bit scary. I look exactly like what you, my what dad. What have you done? You've aged us. Mm. Actually, you're the best in the world. If I may have a look, I'm so I'll probably. David hasn't look. changed. Urban looks like Santa. <laughs> Can you but I look like my dad, don't I? You do. With the white beard. What do you mean I have changed? Jesus. No, this David. Oh, God, oh, I have. I was having a go at him. He looks like Bob Hawk. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's good. good. That would be good, actually. Well, he's just increased his jowls, that's all. Oh, my God, look at me. Do you know what? I actually look like my Uncle Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how we look like our relatives. He's apparently. So what did what did you do? Go to ageme.com. Yep. He's apparently. Oh my god! It's a you? it's a big thing at the moment. He's what? apparently yeah. having some kind yeah. of heart attack while holding a cheese stick. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's a stroke. Have you put that up on our future guys? Yes. Yeah. 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 And Kylie thinks it's wonderful. I don't think Saxon's actually. Oh, is that why you were taking photos? Oh, I've got right. to have a closer look then. Let's see what everyone looks like after that. Okay, so um. That's amazing. Apart from a little bit more jelliness, I think you're right. I do. I look like my bloody That's uncle. I already look like, I look like my dad bloody and my uncle Polly and maybe. about half a dozen other uncles. I now have 54 hit points for my temporary hit points. Do they just keep stacking? Well, no. I have to read They can't you. just keep stacking. It's Fiendish Vigor. Yes. It's, it's 1d4 plus 4. Yeah. But it's a cantrip, so I can cast it as will. Yes. And it lasts for two hours. Yes. So every two hours, I just recast it. You just it. recast it automatically. So technically, I just re-roll it every day, and I assume that's the last roll I did before the next combat. I'm tempted to let sure. you replace Otherwise, my profile picture and sure. work with that. See if anyone That's work you gave me. Oh, I like um, that. Me going... <laughs> <laughs> there is a uh, knock at your door. Dun, 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 dun. They've caught me. Yes. When you open the door, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, you're saying hello. Good, 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 good morning. morning. You do open the door. It's Ismark. <laughs> she says. Ah, yes, Ismark. My face, my cheekbones will take over my I'm sorry to disturb you. I know you visited the Burgermaster the other day. Yes, we visited the Burgermeister, Meister Burger. Did you have any luck with accommodations for my sister and I? Yes, he has a room for you and everything. Where? Yeah, okay. I have forgotten, but there yeah, are complications. Time, time out. What yes. details did they work out? Because that was in he the session a, last he year. He has a house for them or something, I believe. Yes. I don't remember. He has a house for them. Right. Help, me, help me, Dave. Help me, Dave. It won't be here on oh, this one. <laughs> what am I asking you? I don't know. I just, that's why I'm <laughs> If Ray was here, he could look through his notes. <laughs> Ray stopped making notes, I think. Oh. <laughs> it's got all too complex or something. <laughs> it's a bit hard to Yes, he did. He promised them a house. He had multiple friends. Are we all back together now, by the way? Yes, you are all Let back together. Let us never split up again. No, Ray loved it last no. time. No, I think Ray is now. correct. Let us never, never split never. up again. Let us always hold hands. Always hold hands. 
sleep in the same room. So, yes. so should we tell him about the whole Twinsky situation? Twinsky? If someone has to go to the toilet, then, then they need a buddy. We need yeah, a buddy. We tie system. rope around them. They can go in. We're not going to tell him. Rope. Okay, we won't tell him. I don't mean to. What, what, so what do you know about this? About, about the fact that this Stresnik guy gave a portrait that was painted three months ago to Blinsky. That's the exact image of Katrina or whatever oh, her name Irina. is. Irina. And Irina. Irina, and he's making all the Irina. dolls. Her image, and he's collecting all the dolls, which probably means he's some sort of Stroud Mesmeroid or some, some such. Yes, a I think, Mesmeroid. Yeah, I think you're right, Peter. A we stream. might want to mention that. What's his Stroud? A Stroud Mesmeroid. He's a Renfield. Renfield. Has he eaten any flies? He doesn't need flies. He's collecting <laughs> dolls instead. Even the flies. He's been told to get Irina, and that's what he's doing. Irina! Make me more Irinas! Yes, what did happen to those two people we escorted here? <laughs> We're just talking to one of them! Excellent! <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> that You're that doing this deliberately! Yeah. <laughs> it's like we followed the story, I just know it. <laughs> Not entirely. No, Peter is quite correct. Do we actually mention this rather crucial and creepy piece of information? We can't, we can't leave her here alone. Who do we find this to? Her brother. She is currently at the door. She is so going to get strata, it's not funny. <laughs> so, what? Why are you pointing at me? It's not my decision. Talk to your fellow players. Okay, after the police have caught you yet over all these stratings. Sorry. I refuse to indulge you. You were the one who When we came into the uh, inn this morning, yes. we would have gone through the area where everyone was partying the night before. Sure. Does he have a two days peak? What do we think? Oh, where that where was that right. fellow who owns the caravan? He's not, down, he's not down in the... Right. But where, where was he? Like, we met him and he was sitting somewhere. He okay. was in the tavern when we first yes. met him. Mm. But we, we know where, like, say where he was in the tavern? Last At night. At a table or a stool or a... It's like in Sorry, the are, you, table are you talking, like, last night before yeah. you left the caravan? He wasn't no, downstairs. Where we were in the inn mm. when we saw yeah. him last. We had the encounter with the two gypsies and he went outside presumably. The last you saw Rutavio was when half of the party or most of the party went up to the church and you left him. And I think we'd decided that Jono's character had stayed with him and then he excused himself from Jono's character to go feed his dragon. Yes. That's <laughs> so, the last you've seen him. And we so thought where was he when he was from the... Oh, oh, that's when he realised his keys were missing. Mm -hmm. where, where was he with the Sitting downstairs in the tavern. So, but I know where, yeah? Yeah. So I could take his key and put it on the floor and shove it under a table or something. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I just want to give the impression that mm. he dropped it in that's there. That's good. Then the, whoever's cleaned the bar can find it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Also, I don't think we need the key anymore, do we? He's, no. He's no. also... Don't forget he's staying at the hotel. Yep. Oh, they're staying at the inn. I just, yep, yep. He's going to do it now. I feel, on a, you know, obviously, <laughs> there's no one in the inn at this time of morning. Well, maybe they're having breakfast mm, or something. No, so I just want to drop it and kick it under okay. the table. It's just somewhere where it's kind of not going to be found until stand. someone's it's really nice searching people. for it. Because I know where not. Saxon can just distract them with nah, conversation. I, just, I want to look good. like he drops it okay. at some point in his rebel. Yeah, and when the gypsy's going or whatever. Yeah, something like that. During the altercation. Yeah, unless if you wanted to drop it where the altercation happened, you could drop it. I don't. Do I know about the altercation? Yes. You don't. You weren't there. So well, I want to do this there. when we go in and you, go up you, to the room. So I haven't first, seen anyone yet. You first okay. have to confide your plan with one of someone who did witness the altercation. You yep. have to know that. I'm telling everything. I, there. He now knows. Yeah, just after I've dropped the Okay. Oh, you dropped the key first. Right, the key's yeah. under, we'll say it's under the table. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. you could easily get kicked anyway. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's, yep, that's done. Why, that's why you didn't okay. put the phone yeah. Obviously. It's not fun, it's not fun. That's right. Don't we know that? Where's the expression you got? Yeah. And Valerie. And Valerie? Valerie? Isaac? <laughs> Valeroid. Are you, are you talking about Victor? Like it, boys, man. Victor? 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 Valerie? Valerie? Victor? Roll your arms, Victor! He's, he's rather confused, young man. Victor. So, my sister and I have a place to stay then? Oh, yes, yeah, so we were Yes! 
Yes. Those, apparently, we do those that. arrangements yes, were made we according did. to the game's master, so his memory is much better than the rest of us. I still remember more than and you also made this up. I've forgotten most of this. Well, you're talking about the last time we played Ravenloft, which was last year. That was going to be my T10. Yeah, I said, What? Why did that not have to be more? Because I was looking at it. Oh. You've touched it visually. How do you touch something visually? If you can transmit <laughs> cookies onto it visually, yes, you, do you can touch it. Do you want to know the actual answer? This will be, this will be good. You no, do you know the actual answer? You went to the Burgermasters to arrange accommodation. And we did. And you never did it. Oh, we never did it? <laughs> you what? never did it. You talked about a whole oh, bunch of other about, things. I was about to say. And the festival I, and everything. I was about to say, you never actually, actually did it. To make up for not doing it, I stole Victor. I thought we arranged for a house. I don't think so. I think we planned to do it and yeah. didn't actually do it. Never actually did it. Uh, no, it was an elaborate we got plan. So elaborate festivals. that we think yeah. we did it. You did. You got okay, sidetracked you better by the whole inform, festival thing. You better inform them of that. Where have they, where have they been staying? In the inn. In the inn. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Where the hell did I get the back from? I assume. Mm. It yes. happens. It does happen. So. Let it be known, I misremembered! Yeah, like you're the only one, I wouldn't worry about it. But it's me! It's always all about you, Peter. Hmm. Do, so we don't, we don't have a place to stay yet? No, it's wonderful! I think my sister and I will visit the Burgermaster ourselves and see what no, we can No, I arrange. wouldn't advise that, there's a maniac there. I'm sorry? There's a maniac. What do you mean there's a maniac? He has a portrait of yes. your sister made three months ago. Did your sister get a portrait made three? Did, did we ask her this? No, we did not! <laughs> has your sister had a portrait done of her stuff? We talked to you. I bet you'll edge this on. We talked about asking. I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> I mean, we probably planned ago. it at some point. Did your sister get a portrait of herself? <laughs> we spent so much time planning that we see we've done things. I don't know of it, and I'm quite confused by what you're saying. The toy maker has a portrait of your sister. It was made three months ago. The toy maker. I've got a bit, but... He's making it all? <laughs> yeah, the, the, toy the toy maker... Toymaker is this is supposed to be dark stuff. gothic horror, and we're where, making it sound like a bunch of the, Where was the painting? Wasn't the painting? The <laughs> was it was a painting. It was the back, it was the back of the toy shop. The most the toy shop is in the burgermaster. <laughs> These are completely separate people in completely I, uh, separate places. Show us the painting. They're all in the same city. Yes. Oh, it doesn't seem like a reasonable reason for why they. Uh, there's many good reasons for why she should, they shouldn't be the Burgermeister. Because the guy who gave him the painting oh, is the maniac with the arm oh, who works for the, the, the okay. police. Okay, that's a good yes. Who's in the room with all the dolls with the guy in the dress that he found? Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's an awful <laughs> lot of meta knowledge in that statement, Peter. There's a huge amount of, yeah. I mean, I just... No, that's all stuff. We, 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 should, yeah, we, we were just referencing the painting. I'm going, the painting wasn't in the burger, my What? It was in the toy shop. What he means, with the monkey. With what the dolls. To say, that all end up in the room. What he with the guys. Say, with the, the other corner. corner. I'm not saying there is a dragon. I'm not saying there is a drift that I made before I let the dragon out. <laughs> That I'm not saying there isn't connections, I'm just saying wait what for I was, What I would suggest is we're actually saying... <laughs> I did it, I murdered them all, I'm glad. No, no, maybe there's another explanation. No, it was me! It really was! No, I, I don't think that could possibly be it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what we are saying to point. Me. My point is, you, you, as per usual, is you give me a fragment of your thoughts without the rest of it. But you were there! <laughs> What, what he needs to say is, when we went to the Burgermeister to get your room sorted out, we discovered some. The, that became the least of our problems. We've got the other truck. It's somewhat, somewhat disturbing, which we think you need to know more than you need to know about 
um, organised. We still need accommodation. You still need you still need accommodation. So we're not if we're not asking the burgermeister for such accommodation. I think we need to go someplace else entirely. That would be great. <laughs> Whether that's even possible. <laughs> so what we're saying is, we think it would be unwise for you to get. Let's go to Barovia. Also, don't forget we something have... weird going on here. We think it would be unwise <laughs> for you to get accommodation. <laughs> I think I we know should, free. We we should stay with the. Gym. I know we want to stay with the Burgermaster. We we wish our own place. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the Burgermeister for a house. Was that ever going to work out? Well, well, because then the Burgermeister master found out that they were royalty, you would give them a house. Are they royalty? I'm sure we mentioned them to him. No, we didn't. I remember doing because so. Because we thought him real I'm sure we did. Oh. Well, actually, you went. I actually, you didn't even go in, did you? I was there. I had the discussion with him about the festival, how people didn't like all, all the walls being chopped up and everything. <laughs> So was, you weren't there. You were, you're there. in the tea party. Right, with, I was with the female mad hunter. Was the G, was the GM grinning, grinning enormously at us not mentioning? You did get sidetracked with the festival. He got sidetracked with the sewing and what was going on with we the tea and cakes. Toy shop. I went. It was the first place I went to because I was obsessed with music. after the end. Oh yes. Uh, Remember, uh, I made the gallows and way too much, weren't you? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Oh, and my face. The oh my god, I can my. Oh my god. The monkey chose that. Oh my god. <clears throat> so oh technically, my god. it was him. <laughs> I'm gonna die on the gallows, and you all think it's funny. What's the gallows, people? Jesus. Oh my god. Um. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> I I can see that you are troubled, sir, so we will yeah. not you <laughs> any longer. <laughs> I'm so very insightful. Just in case you weren't already incoherent. Yeah. <laughs> the painting and the balls and the, the I can make this the now. The monkey and the dolls. Oh and the wolf. I can just activate um, this now. I don't actually know if I'm with the party or not at this you point. Are, you are. I am. Everybody, let's say everybody's there. It'll help me keep track of where everyone is. At this point, I'm... <laughs> at this point, everybody is around. Do they have... At this point, I'm asking myself for the 800... No, they use Federation credits. Yes, they do. They do have money, so they could, like, pay for something. Like, mm. okay. So they're just freeloading of us. No, they're not freeloading of you. We're protecting them. Were they paying us? I wonder for the 420th time why I didn't offer your services. No, you offered your services. You were doing it out of goodness of your alignment. You did it out of goodness of your own alignment. I did, but now I'm traumatised. I did it out of the amusement of my alignment. Now I'm not so sure. As he is leaving you, no longer Irina comes along the corridor and she says, Is Mark, is there a problem? And she looks at you. Is she bathed in light? Yeah, okay. Yep, she is. Just white? No, she has other clothes on. Okay, just check. To the extent <laughs> that we are able to coherently explain suddenly appear every we time so. you, you are near. Just like me, I want to be somewhere in the vicinity of you. <laughs> What, why do I imagine Ashton. one of the Muppet monsters popping up from under the table and seeing that last line? <laughs> so, sorry, what have I lost? What, why you... I, Irene has appeared and my mind's gone blank. Oh, right. She yeah. has this effect on people. Just like me. Well, let me ask. Is, 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 does she have the most impressive painting? I, 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 I go blank and he turns into the guy Monty. <laughs> <laughs> You have to arrange an accommodation for these people. So <laughs> you have failed. Give us another chance. Are we going words. back to the Burgermeister now that we've stolen his son? <laughs> we can Why don't you it? tell them we found a caravan they could sleep in? <laughs> that's, that's, that's just All you've got to do is get the saber tooth tiger out let's, of it. Let's go back to the Burgermeister, surround his house and demand his surrender. We have your son! <laughs> no. You must give us a house. No. We bond. So world peace. <laughs> and
and your son. What's the medieval equivalent of a real estate agent? Oh, what? <laughs> the medieval equivalent of a real estate agent. Ye real estate agent. Master ye, ye, of oldie, ye oldie real estate agent. Realtor. That's a more old fashioned word, realtor. A fiefdom dude. I mean, people used to own and buy property. the point was that the Burgermeister gave out stuff like that. That's why I think that's the Burgermeister's job. Of course it is. We would have to get. So just explain, you completely forgot to ask him about the one thing you were supposed to ask. (coughs) And you'll go back today and ask him. I think we probably should. Then go and find it. And claim to know nothing about no victim or anything. Who's no, Victor? Mm-hmm. How long we found it? <laughs> we just went in the streets. How long can we find an empty house? Oh and we'll put our friends in there. Yeah, we'll and we'll down. tell Victor it's in a different country because we'll pull all the blinds down and he'll never know. That's right. Every now and again, play exotic music we'll, out And we'll window. speak a different language. What the actual hell? <laughs> Family, please focus. No, right, so what you do? You're always hassling him about this. I think right now, you're worth about going completely so psychopathic that? in every game. I, to I answer Avada's really question so, somewhat three, four minutes ago, yes. we can explain it to the extent that we can be coherent about it. Yes, there was a problem. Right. But we now it's We got managed. distracted from actually requesting accommodation from the Burgomaster because. Blah. And explain That's about the line. painting yes. under the control of Vinsky and our dark suppositions. So we, what is, we think that there is, we think that you are endangering this. So what does this mean? We should try and get them out, get them out of town. I'm and, wondering if that's and, the case. and if that's the case, <coughs> where have, on earth are we going? We have a pass to go beat the wine <coughs> merchants of oh, death. Olivia. that's true. We do have a pass to beat the wine merchants of death, don't we? That's one way to get out of town. No, we don't. We have to get the pass. Is that uh, the, thing no, oh to yes, we've got to go back and get it. Oh Jesus, <laughs> we have to go back. The wine wizards, weren't they wizards of So, I don't think and, and this is Irina's obvious. Mish, you, you saw a painting of them. I did not. I was here along with Bunny yeah, Carrot. With your and my character, because we went to the shop. Yeah, I'm not traumatised by the shop. I saw a monkey. I... Yes. Was it a clockwork monkey? No, you please describe really and coherently what you saw. No, he wasn't there because I bought it for oh, him oh, and I had to oh, take it back. He was back at the inn. Okay. I, well, I showed it to him. So, so it's just, just you and me that his Star Trek monkey. It might be Ray, Ray might have been there as well. <laughs> it was definitely you and me. Purely on metal Wait level. I, make I think my game. character is beginning to wonder whether or not he should be actually taking their account of the painting at Blinsky's toy shop seriously. No. Jesus. That's a point. That's a point. Mind you, it's not we like... Very I've got to say, since we've been here in this Ravenloft dimension that we accidentally found our way into, yeah, it's been have pretty bloody horrifying, hasn't it? And weird and horrific. It has been quite mm-hmm. weird and horrific. And, and therefore, any crazy story about paintings... Anything. anything really, anything at all... Should not be doesn't surprise us at all. Mm. <laughs> just believe yes, perhaps I should be more credulous. That, well, at least concordant with our that's how we all delight. <laughs> what you mean to say is, we hear this and we go, yeah, that'd be bloody right round here. How do we get out of here? <laughs> Can we go to Dragonlance? I have an idea that what, what we have to do to get out of here is kill the no, level 95 vampire, so... Well, well I'm pretty sure he's only level 40. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm assuming. <laughs> I just love the seriousness. Okay. <laughs> well, that makes table. everything better then, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm assuming he's level four. You know, he's like the most famous vampire in D&D, so I'm assuming he's a 40th level munchkin. That's Dave. a rather specific <laughs> value. Dave, just on that. Uh, uh, Not uh, 33? No, exactly. Four. Yeah, I don't know. What it was. I, was <laughs> yeah, listening to, I was listening to an interview with Chris Perkins, who's mm, yes. you know, the sort of, sort of head editor, you know, writer of when he first got the position, that is like he's been doing it for 15 or maybe even 20 years now. When he first got the position, someone asked him a question of, like, how many emails do you get? Do you read them? Do And he goes, I try and read every single email that I get, but, you know, I get so many of them. And they said, well, do you keep any? He said, I 
kept my very first email that I got the day I became editor for D&D &D, mm. and I framed it and it's up on my wall and it simply says bring back Dragonlance you fucker <laughs> <laughs> bring back Dragonlance you fucker <laughs> he says it's framed up on my wall <laughs> oh jeez I can just see some spotty nerd <laughs> let's just bring go. back Dragonlance <laughs> uh, considering okay. how long at this go. point we basically have two choices we can try and get both the brother and sister outside, but probably when we go to visit the wine merchants, or we can assume, yes, there is some sort of badness come trap here, let's set it off. We get set it off? How, what, by introducing Irina to Stredsky or whatever the frick his name is? No, we simply make is arrangements no, is with the Burgermeister. Um, we don't actually introduce it, but we don't actually name? hide their identities. We set them up and we guard them. Set them up where? We're, we're going somewhere. We can't guard them forever. Mm -hmm. Unless we get somebody else to guard them. And who will we trust? Well, there's... there's, there's Rictavo! <laughs> yeah, Dragon Man. And his Sabertooth Tiger. <laughs> I'd love to know the name of the Sabertooth Tiger. Man. What's that? Uh, oh, the Battle Dragon. dragon. <laughs> Possibly. He's seen my email. Battle Cat. Yeah, Draco. I saw him in cartoons when I was a brat. I this said is I don't know who Tarko is. I posted this a picture of him on Battle Cat. I've seen that, yes. <laughs> Cringer, <laughs> yes. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Um, bup, 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 bup. So that does then. So are we securing a house via the Burgermeister? That's the actual thing. If we do, she can't leave it. Her brother can leave it, but she can never show her face. Really? If she goes outside, what's his face will see her. Well, and then she'll end up in his room in the team special dress. Face. How are we gonna he's the head of police? Yeah, what are you, what what are you gonna do? Do the godfather bit with the gun in the toilet? Moonbeam. Broad daylight. Broad daylight. <laughs> oh god. This is hey. gonna just look surprised afterwards. Hey, freaky arm! <laughs> David doesn't even have to do anything. Look at me, everybody! You should ask Irina what she would house. like to well, do. I like her that the Have you given <laughs> this information? <laughs> I in Can I point out, guys, that one of us is making sane suggestions? Oh, good. What is it? <coughs> Perhaps having imparted this information and discussed the possibilities to the best that we can, we should ask Irina what she thinks of the situation, what options she would like. Maybe she's got a fresh perspective on That's your job, Mr. Eloquence. So, so what are we doing? We're, 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 telling, we're telling her that we have grave concerns for her safety and well, yeah. that's, 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 that's the summary version. I think, summary version. I think he's a Strad Mesmeroid. So, we were going we, to give you... <coughs> <coughs> are we, many, we know something about... We haven't met him, have we? Yeah, we didn't look for... He turned up and looked at his character with a pack of. Do we know food. that he looked at you? Not, not necessarily, but I'm, I'm assuming. You're jumping. You're assuming. Anyway, yes. Not, re not relevant right now. But we know he rules the place. We know he's a vampire. Do we know those? We two know his reason right behind. Do, do we have to have this conversation every time? Yes. yes. You, do it, you do it every single session. Yes. Like, do, I, I know. I know. We do it every session. That's yeah, let me just take it off my list here. <laughs> remind everyone. Questions to ask Peter every time. Well, do do we know Strad exists? What is do we name? know Strad is a vampire? <laughs> Did we really see the painting? <laughs> Where well, that'll my... be next session. <laughs> Where are my pants? <laughs> Why am I not wearing my pants? It should be the first question. <laughs> Get it laminated. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we know that. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we know, do know this. We, we've been told by multiple people at this point. I just didn't know we'd met him, and we may or may not. Have. We may not have met him, but I'm assuming you've, you've, you've had various. Asking, you've had various people call him the devil, the devil, that yes. vampire, yes. Yeah, well, I get, vampire, yeah. Yeah. and and, and I think called. it's pretty obvious that he rules the place. We know that too. What what people? Yeah. What his name is asking? Face is, is on the coinage the that yeah, yeah, Urban yeah, has been given. Yeah, it's pretty obvious from the Mr. Vistani. Does he look like? Retardo. Strad. Does, does Retardo look like the face on the coin? No. Okay. Does he look oh like Victor? My God, imagine that! Well, I thought it yes, was obvious. Yes! It was me all along! How? Okay. That'd it almost be cool. It would be. <laughs> Meanwhile, almost, yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> almost, but not, not quite. Not quite. 
Meanwhile, what he was asking was reasonable. Do we know in in game that this is the case, or is that something we know meta? We know in game that we, we know, know he's a vampire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we know he's evil and nasty. We and know his powers. We know we know it's time to have this discussion again. That'll be. We well, know. I guess it comes. We to know that we everybody else thinks he's a vampire. I think that's. I think that that's maybe more. I personally don't pertinent. not think about vampires. I think that's more pertinent. <laughs> um, I'm not surprised you know, you know nothing about you know, vampires. You know, you know, no, I'm talking about our characters. Yeah, exactly. So am I. We ask him what's good for vampires, and he thinks, um, well, you know, a nice place where there's coffins everywhere and free blood. Free blood, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not what you mean. Uh, now, yes. Okay. So we have great. We're just asking Irina thing. what she wants. Yes, what she thinks. What she wants. Bearing in mind that our concerns about her safety, yeah. and that we think this, the basic leadership of this town is compromised by Strad. Who's Strahd? And Strahd... He's some dude, man. Wants He's a legendary figure. Wants to acquire her specifically. Okay, so... Um, What's Barovia? <laughs> I have some coins. <laughs> <laughs> what, Irina, how do you know they're not counterfeit? Guys, shut up. I okay, so like Irina you. takes this all in. Yep. And she says... Right. I I understand... Your concerns. I never actually sat for any such portrait, portrait or painting, if um, such mm. one exists. Have you, um, have you have you featured in Vampire Dude movies? Uh, if stop such a, a painting exists, my brother and I believe that. <laughs> have you ever seen the movie Brand Stoker's Drake? <laughs> my brother and I believe that Velaki would be a safe place, being a larger, <laughs> a larger town. It's a living description. Whether we go or or stay, we will, uh, though, to not impose upon your good nature mm. any longer, because you have brought us to this town like we are. Yeah. Um, we would rest upon your good counsel to yes. help us make this okay. decision. The only other place that we can imagine Ooh, we well, could be okay. safe would be would be the town of Cresc, which Cresc. is many days' journey from here. Do we have a map of this place? Nope. <laughs> no. Isn't that no. where the wine wine place is? Is it? Is it? Oh, Jesus. Is it? It's probably not too far from Cresc. The Wizards of Wine? Well, no, we've been. got an objective that's safe. Now, so, I've, uh, I've actually uh, had a thought. Maybe. I've actually had a thought that might that be, from time to time. That okay. might be reasonable. Is it about... Yeah. No, I'm not going to say it. So, remember the church? Remember it was protected by the bones? Yep. Mm-hmm. Remember that the bones were stolen? Yes. yes. But I keep forgetting. But the bones are magic and they protect? Yes. If we get the bones... Yes. We have protecto bubble. Oh. We... we we crush the bones up into a fine powder and make up a special armor. Oh, no. <laughs> and we spear. My point. Hang on. My what, obvious what point. Does it protect us from here? Good question. What does it protect us from? One, from vampires. From one, one particular vampire. From Scarlet himself. Doesn't it? Isn't that what the priest said? What did the priest say? What does it protect us from? He said something about. The You're talking bones. about taking this yeah. sacred fucking <laughs> fuck. I'm not saying no, anything of the sort. I'm not saying it's anything the of the, the sort. At the very least, you're suggesting stealing it. <laughs> we, they, they've already been stolen. So it's okay it. for us. Stop, stop, stop. I would really love it if you didn't put words in my mouth. Peter. 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 Think of this way. Okay. We've been asked to find these damn bones, right? And if we take a long, long time returning, what he's saying? No, no. We could. If we need a sanctuary, it's the church and we can put the fucking bones back in the fucking church. Okay? <laughs> that I is an obvious and short term solution since a van- arena. It is, it's an option. I think it's, it's a genius. sanctuary. Yes. yes. But we What's need the, the, the bones. Bone. What's the bet the bones will turn out to be somewhere near Cresc? How could they get the Cresc? So, in other how words, do you make the best wine? Out of. Saint Bones? Saint Bones. Oh, Saint Bones. Obviously. Hang on, let me just check. <laughs> no, I think the Wizards of Wine would have been working and building up their reputation over Saint Bones. Oh, seafood meals, so geographically, chicken, 
Chris, spicy Asian dishes. In theory, could be on the way to the Wizard of Wines. Basically, okay. you would you would take one fork to go to Kresk and another one to go okay. to. Right. So, so do we want to find the bones first? I, my feeling is we should try and find the bones first because it yeah. gives us an option. Because if when so if Isak and Irina are coming, I guess they're coming with us because we're taking them to Kresk. They're not coming with us. But I'm saying we have another option, which is that we could recreate a sanctuary which could be of real value to us. We should find out if the goes to church as well. Especially if I think Claw Hand <coughs> Man. Oh, okay. Yes, um, Kim. Stress Dog, I think. Stress Dog? Everybody knew Stress Dog. Okay, yep. Isaac. Almost got Hang on, Isaac. 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 Oh, the other one's called Ismark. Yeah, Ismark is the. Okay, brother. Well, I was right before. <laughs> is the brother I was of Irina. Right before. <laughs> I was right. So did Could I, it be that we're actually back on track now? No, no, when I looked in the saber tooth tiger cage, <laughs> and there are two bones in there. Not that you noticed. <laughs> oh, God, if Rictavo just fell all those freaking so, so, bones. So the lead, the lead for the bones is the kid. We find yeah. the kid, we find the kid. You presumably find the bones, or at least to get the next clue to the question. I've was already got a kid. Do we need another Was the kid? Oh, shut up. He's in the orphanage. Let's go to it. You painful baby. <laughs> the kid who was throwing stones at these guys earlier on. He's too young. This guy's like 19. Okay, so, he's not, okay, so when you say the kid, you mean the young adult. Okay, right, right. Let's yeah. go to the orphanage and find this asshole. And before you ask, and before, and before you ask, the, although the Saxon recognised him, doesn't matter. It wasn't the same kid that was in the church that was throwing stones at you. That was, yeah, that was, oh, that that was a complete you. rando guy. That yeah. so far. His name is Rando McRandom. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like he knows more than he was saying. Oh my god, that's my next NPC. Let's torture him. Let's just go to the orphanage. What are, what are we doing? What are we doing with the bow and sis? Are we just in the bow? We're not beginning to deal with them. Put, put them in the church. Are we going to the and Vega Master? To get the pass to go oh, yeah. to the white vineyard. Okay, go to the Burgomaster first, get the pass, then go to the orphanage. Remember, we can no longer split up. We have to Are we asking the Burgomaster for a property? No. No, we don't think this town no. will <coughs> need a property. This, this is just going to draw attention to them. Okay, fine, good. Yes, they're, they're a secret. Probably a very poorly kept one, but nevertheless. <laughs> I think we're now coherent again. Right. <laughs> so, give us five minutes. I can't remember his name, but it was something all that starting with M. It was the name of the young fella who may have stolen the boat. Meloff. Meloff. I was saying, See how well I'm my doing. Star Trek game, I'm planning it so that if you guys don't do anything stupid, there won't be any um, any um, battle that will be bigger than Fisty Cuffs. So is, to which Dave says, anyone, get the character sheets ready. Is <laughs> anyone Lee staying behind to protect Irina, or are we all going? I will volunteer to sing. <laughs> we should stick, not stick around. I, I know what we will do. We will leave La- Ray's character. No, that's Ray's the worst character. thing you could possibly do. Ray's character will be left behind. Right. Oh, you evil man. There's nothing that could go wrong in that. He's so good at it. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll stay back and play Dutch Blitz with them. That's fine. So you and Ray are staying back at the inn. We're at the Burgermeister's okay. house. Asking for entrance. Politely, like right. normal people. Do, do Ismark and Arena think that we're complete idiots yet? Or do they... Um, are they wondering why they've trusted themselves to such incompetent buffers? Where's Victor? Do you Where is on the Victor? <laughs> I've hidden him in my room in, 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 the, in, the, in the, the room. He knows we should not to leave. Just dig a hole and tell him it's an escape tunnel and put you in. Um, do you want to have a conversation? Okay. Before, well, before they... Head off, or okay, I'm going to we'll go do on. you guys and then come back to I love it when you split the party. So we have we are not splitting them. up the party. You have two of them staying back at the end, and then the rest Why of are you staying going. back? I just thought, I just thought, you know, if we're concerned about it, actually, maybe we should keep an eye on them. <laughs> if we don't want to split the party, we won't. Do we take them? If we don't split the party, we take them with us. No, we don't take them to the <laughs> can't myself. take them with us. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. We can't leave the ball Here, Here's what happens. Here's what happens. As long as it's daylight <coughs> and we know where they are, we'll try. We'll leave them. We'll I'll stay with them. Why? Because 
Because he can kill anybody who's near I can slaughter everybody in an instant and then our problems all go away. Except for splitting the party. <laughs> we'll come back to the end and everyone in will be dead. I don't... It won't matter because it'll just be me who split. You know, I said um, they were going to be co- they were coherent again, and he said, "Give mm-hmm. him five minutes." Yep. Yeah. Well, well didn't we'll... even take five, did it? Yep. yep. <laughs> you come back to the end of the falling crater. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say not to burn it down. It's more like a pile of broken. Sorry, guys, it got out of hand. <laughs> this guy dared to get the middle. Okay. If Sean is going to go and talk with. Um, Victor, Have you guys decided what you're doing? I'm staying behind the rescue Sean, they, the Sean tells to Victor to stay in the room. Do not leave. We are hatching a plan. Victor, not Charles. Victor, so who Victor, the hell's Charles? Pete, your character's staying <laughs> with them and everybody else is going. Is that right? I, I'm staying with the couple. I'm not caring about Victor. All right. I, I, I'm staying behind to make sure he doesn't have any good luck. What are you doing with Ray's character? Ray's going with the main party to have main adventures so he doesn't feel left out. So right. Otherwise, he might send an email to Graham. Huh? Oh. oh. Don't worry. Don't. No. No. <laughs> no. no. no that never no. happened. Right. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So the rest of you. <sighs> uh, the rest of you go to the Burger Masters. <clears throat> Mansion. Yes. 